I'm trading using Madden 24's brand new trade system, but we're turning the trade difficulty down to easy to see what sort of insane fleecing is actually possible. Starting with an absolute bang, attempting to trade for Jamar Chase, we'll be able to tell how easy easy mode truly is. And just as an initial test, let's just try a second round pick, and that's fair, but actually kind of closer than what I thought. How about Kenny Pickett straight up for Jamar Chase? He's 21 overall lower, just to test the waters, and it went backwards. We're going to try trading for different NFL stars of completely different values to really test and see what easy mode trading is all about. Now, since this is easy mode, what if we just click the get offers button for Jamar? Looks like they only want our draft picks. I mean, if like two firsts and a seventh would be fair for Jamar, although a first, two seconds, a third, and a sixth is quite a lot. Let's see if yours truly can make a better deal happen here. How close is just one single first round pick? And it's almost in the green already. So we might be able to get Jamar Chase without actually having to trade away a first round pick. They need a left guard, strong safety, and tight end. We do have two left guards we can trade away. Also did throw in two second round picks. Now from here, let's do something wild, like a fourth and a fifth from 2026, and then like a sixth from 2025. This might would end up being the weirdest trade in NFL history. I don't think it'll be accepted, but we'll submit it through, and it's almost in the green. Let's actually try to offer a decent player. Since they need tight end, why don't we just go ahead and offer for Pat Fryermuth. And how about just Pat straight up for Jamar? Like, obviously, I don't expect it to be accepted, but it was about halfway. So maybe some draft picks on top of Patrick. Let's do a second, fourth, and fifth from this season. See how much that goes up. And it's in the green. Let's see if I can add another draft pick or player to finally get this deal accepted. Maybe now if we threw in Kevin Dotson, they do want him. So maybe this is enough? Not quite, but it's closer. So will like a 2025 fifth be enough? We're gonna try and fleece as much as humanly possible today, and we have a little bit more to go. I feel like, though, if we turn that 2025 fifth into a 2025 fourth, this should be enough to bring Jamar Chase to Pittsburgh. Bruh. I don't even see any empty space there. Like, what else can I even do? How about we just make that a third round pick from this season? Maybe this is enough? Finally! On easy mode, it takes Pat Fryermuth, Kevin Dotson, a second, fourth, and third to bring in Jamar Chase. But now, what the heck is is it going to take to bring in Jamar Chase's quarterback on easy mode? So maybe we begin again by clicking the get offers button on Joe. And apparently there's not an adequate trade offer out there for us. You know what, bro? Just let me cook. I just want to try something absolutely ridiculous just to begin things here. I was mistaken because you are allowed to throw in six draft picks into a single trade. You can only do three players at a time, though. So how about a second, third, and fourth from 2025 and a second, third, and fourth from 2026? I mean, maybe we can expect this to be halfway not even that so even on easy mode joe burrow is gonna be hard to trade for i think we're gonna have to use kenny pickett they need a wide receiver now so how about george pickens they don't want either of them they do want deontay johnson though and what about great grandfather patrick peterson just inserting this into the universe and i don't even think that went up but now if we threw a couple first round picks into the mix will we make some progress here i mean yeah not quite in the green yet but that's a decent start. Now, what about a second from next year? I don't think this will be enough, but at least it got us into the green. Let's actually try something even more wild than this. How about Joe Burrow for TJ Watt straight up? Kind of hoping we see it at least in the yellow. It's almost there. At least it's halfway. So what on top of TJ Watt would it take? We'll go ahead and throw in Najee and Deontay Johnson. I mean, that's a half decent offer. They can't even afford it. How about TJ Watt, George Pickens, and a young stud corner? at least be green and it's not so it for sure is gonna take some extra draft picks which is fair even though this is on easy mode how about just one singular first round pick let's see some green i see potential so maybe we can get away with a sneaky third and fourth from 2025 is this enough to bring in joe freaking burrow will joe burrow officially become a stealer no how about a second and a fourth from next year please be enough and it was this is officially the the package that makes Joe Burrow a Pittsburgh Steeler. I still think we're the ones that did the fleecing here, but how hard will it be on easy mode to fleece our way towards 99 club member Travis Kelsey? When he is 33, again, we'll click the get offers button. Hopefully there's something out there for us. What do you mean? Guess we'll just have to do it the old fashioned way. We'll again start by including a first round pick. And keep in mind, man, this is easy mode and it's barely over halfway. They do need a left outside linebacker. So what about Joe? 
Joey Bosa. I mean, this would be an interesting little straight up deal. I'm gonna predict though that it's not even in the orange and it was accepted actually. Wow, Joey Bosa for Travis Kelsey straight up accepted. Now the big question here is, am I the one that actually got fleeced this time? Now switching up strides a little bit, trying to trade for the second highest rated rookie in the entire game. Rookies are normally super tough to trade for, but keep in mind, man, things could change because this is easy mode. Now starting as always, just gonna try a preliminary first round trade attempt and it's almost in the green already. I feel like we can actually cook up something absolutely insane for this deal. They need a middle linebacker, so we added in Kenneth Murray. They also needed a right guard, so we'll throw in young Zion Johnson. So far, not interested in either of them. We'll keep the mid rolling with the Joshua Palmer edition. They still don't want any of these three, which is exactly why I'm gonna throw in three separate draft picks here. I want this to be one of the most wild trades that we've completed yet. We'll do a third from this year. Let's throw in a fourth from next year, and then a fourth from 2026. I mean, for all I know, this might not even be halfway, and it's actually a little bit over half. I think we're gonna have to improve these draft picks quite a bit. Why don't we just go ahead and make it three consecutive third round picks? So three quality players and three third round draft picks for the former number nine overall selection in the draft. At least show me some green. It went up a little. I mean, this is probably gonna take a first round pick, but we'll do everything to avoid trading away those first. So we'll try trading seconds right now. So two seconds instead, and at least we finally see some green. Maybe a third from this season will be enough. Come on, Philly, accept, please. Give me a break. Before we offer a third second round pick, like, can I maybe click get offers here and get an even better offer? The last two players, this was a failure. What do you mean there's no packages? There's got to be. So we're doing it, boys. Three players and three second round picks to bring in potentially one of the best defensive players in the entire next decade. Please finally accept. Thank you. It took quite a bit, but Jalen Carter is officially ours. Now for our craziest trading experiment yet, I want to see what we can acquire for six seventh round selections. Now I think I'm just going to have to again click the get offers button. Like this should just be too good, bro. Imagine we get some insane offers. It looks like all we're getting is like draft picks. Which would you trade six seventh round picks for a third rounder? It doesn't look like they're offering any players. Come on now. Literally every single one of these offers were exactly the same. Just have to freaking do it myself again. Now, just to get a base, I am going to offer these six sevens for Quentin Nelson and see how far off we are. Looks like we need 300 seventh round picks to get Nelson. So definitely need to lower our expectations a little bit. We're probably going to have to settle for some sort of veteran. What about somebody like Shaq Thompson? Six sevens for Shaq Thompson? Oh my God, that barely budged. We might not even be able to get a 70 overall player, but you best believe I'm going to get the best player we possibly can. Chandler Jones. He's definitely an intriguing one, but like, I doubt this is even gonna be halfway. Look at that, dude. What if I wanted Traylon Burks? I know as a Titans fan, I would not accept six sevens for him, but in Madden, he is a 75 overall, so maybe there is a little bit of potential here. Not even close, man. Even on easy mode, this is rough. Chase Claypool, nobody likes him anymore. At least that is the closest we have seen so far, but that probably means we're gonna have have to settle for like a 72 73 overall if not worse now the giants won't even give me their 10th string receiver if we end up settling for Allen robinson that wasn't even halfway our first trade attempt that finally has some green interest we were actually super close to acquiring tank bigsby we can't even get the odd foreman oh my god i might have to settle for a tight end tight ends aren't any easier to trade for either god i did not know what i was getting myself into after all that john Us Smith is who I get. And I'm not gonna lie, if I'm the Falcons and I got six seventh round picks for John Who, I would be ecstatic. Maybe we'll have better luck trading for the highest rated rookie in all of Madden 24. What a shocker. I feel like this might be the hardest trade of the entire video up to this point. I just want to try it. Ankleless Michael Thomas for B. John Robinson. Could be one of the best running backs in NFL history. And it looks like the Falcons value him quite highly. I still do want to try to get rid of Michael Thomas. They need a QB. I mean, like, do you want Derek Carr? No way they accept Derek Carr and Michael Thomas for Bijan Robinson. No way. It's in the green. It's in the freaking green. Easy mode, I tell y'all. Now, let's just go ahead and do something absolutely insane here. I'll give you a fifth and a sixth from 2025 and a sixth and a seventh from 2026. Michael Thomas, Derek Carr, and four super 
late draft picks years from now. No way they accept this, right? Absolutely zero way. It got closer. You know what? I think we can do a fifth from this year, and we still need a little more juice. We'll make it a fifth from 2026 instead of a six. Now, this has got to be enough. Oh, my God. I think we will have to throw in a fourth and then another six interest might be right back in the same spot just kidding trade was accepted and i honestly think this might be one of the biggest fleecings of the entire video although now that i analyze that is quite a bit to trade away but will it be as hard to trade for a higher rated vet like von miller he's 34 but 94 they get offers buttons useless in this game maybe i can get away with this trade by just using a bunch of mid draft picks how about we add in a third and fourth from 2025 and then do a fifth from 2026 so four decent draft picks for a high rated veteran submit this into the universe and we're in the yellow now maybe from here we can throw in a couple players to see this deal through i mean they do need two offensive guards so we threw in two offensive guards although they're both really low rated so i really don't quite think this is gonna be accepted just kidding it was actually this simple to trade for von freaking miller but will we have the same luck in trading for a young unproven quarterback in Jordan Love? I mean, he's only a 70 overall, dude, so this might actually end up being a super simple trade. How about the get offers button? Horrible game. Just for the heck of it, bro. Teddy Bridgewater and Hendon Hooker. Come on, Green Bay. Two QBs for one. Oh my god. Talk about this freaking being on easy mode. What on God's earth just happened? That was enough to bring in Jordan Love? Now, what about an older proven quarterback like Kirk Cousins. I mean, he is 35, but still an 84 overall. I mean, if Jordan Love was that easy to trade for, I mean, I don't think Kirk Cousins would be that far ahead of him. Now, just for the pure memes, I gotta try it. If they accept this, I will laugh, and I'm not laughing. It wasn't even halfway. So, Jordan Love easier to trade for than Kirk Cousins confirmed. So, what about something very simple, like a second round draft pick for Kirk Cousins? I mean, it's over halfway now. They need a cornerback, so how about Cam Sutton, the veteran? They also need a D-tackle. So how about a low overall in Levi? I'm fully expecting this trade to be in the yellow. It's actually in the green. So a few more mid-draft picks added to this deal, bro. And we might actually be good to roll. Let's do like a third from 2025 and also a six from 2025. Will this be enough of a package to acquire Kirk Cousins? I mean, I do 100% think this will be a fleece. And boys, we have officially fleeced the Vikings. But can we take it one step further and fleece the Vikings for their future Hall of Fame 99 club member in Justin Jefferson. I mean, he'll probably be impossible to trade for even on easy mode, but I'll give this trade literally everything I got. Do the Vikings have any interest in a straight up swap for Amon Ron St. Brown? I mean, honestly, I'm kind of shocked that that's even halfway. I want to keep St. Brown so we can pair these two together. Vikings need a quarterback now, so what if we now give them our backup Jared Goff? They can't even afford him, but maybe we can actually just restructure Jared Goff's contract? It should free up $12 million. Don't mind if I do. That didn't change anything. Huh, I guess all I had to do was back out. Imagine though, a Jared Goff for Justin Jefferson straight swap was actually accepted and that, honest to God, is so much closer than what that should be. This trade could actually end up being the biggest fleecing in the history of the NFL. You need a guard? I'll gladly give you one of these two. Unfortunately, they don't want either. I'll take out Graham for now. You know what? I'll even throw in a wide receiver replacement for you. We'll give you Marvin Jones. Honest to God, wouldn't be surprised if this trade went backwards. It's in the orange now, dudes. We're making some strides. I mean, this was always gonna take some draft picks to bring in Justin. Let's try two thirds from this season, and then try a third from 2026. Jared Goff, two pieces of mid, and three third round picks. No shot. This is enough for Justin Jefferson. At least we've made our way into the green. So what if we actually make this three second round picks instead? Actually, can't can't do that because we only have two. But we'll give a third from 2024. Let's see how much closer this package gets us. Imagine this is actually accepted. It is so close. It is so close. What if we replace Marvin Jones with somebody better? Like David freaking Montgomery. You need a running back now, Minnesota. You got 
got rid of Dalvin Cook. You can't let Alexander Madison be your starter. I will be so happy if this is accepted. I'll be so happy. It was accepted. What in the world just actually happened? We just got a player who could end up being the best receiver in NFL history for Jared Goff, Jonah Jackson, David Montgomery, two seconds and a third. We actually just traded for Justin Jefferson without having to trade away a first. All hail easy mode. Now, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, you can click right here to watch another video of me trading in Madden 24. And honest to God, in this video, I actually pulled off some bigger blockbusters than I did in this video.